The Honourable Anne Tolly. Thank you, Mr Chair. Um, uh, there's been an awful lot of emotion and um, accusations thrown around the House in the debate uh, so far, but I'd have to say, based on very few facts, um, but I, I want to start off tonight by recognising the outstanding contribution of the staff who work for this government and this country in Work and Income New Zealand. And as I get around the country and meet and talk with staff and the clients sitting uh, in their offices, uh, either waiting for an appointment or, or working with a case manager, I have to say I'm continually impressed by the absolute dedication of those staff and working alongside those people who for one reason or another have found themselves in difficulty, um, helping them solve some um, what at times seem completely insurmountable problems. I'm always impressed by their enthusiasm, by their compassion, uh, and most of all by their professionalism in working alongside those people to support them through the tough times always with a focus on helping them into work and therefore into independence. Because that's what coming off a benefit means. It means you are independent of reliance on the state to maintain you and your family. And you cannot underestimate the benefit of that. And the week before last, I was absolutely delighted to announce uh, that the number of people in this country who were dependent on a benefit had fallen below 280,000 for the first time since 2008. And did we, get, uh, did we get a celebration in this country from across this parliament that that was an amazing achievement since the GFC, that all those people had, had gone for one reason or another off relying on a benefit to being independent for a whole range of reasons. And all we heard from the opposition was carping that we couldn't prove they'd gone into work. Well, let me tell this House that the most, most people go into work, but, but funnily enough, People don't willingly give up a benefit if they have no other way of surviving. They can uh, alter their circumstances. In fact, some people go to prison and therefore they don't need a benefit. But, but, but the vast bulk of them are going into work and that should be celebrated by every single member in this House. If they don't go into work, if they go off the benefit and not into work and there isn't a valid reason for them to go off the benefit, then you have to ask why they would do that. And I have asked that question of the work and income staff. I have asked that question because the accusation has been made tonight that they go off the benefit into the food banks. Well, I've asked that question of Salvation Army too and, and some of the other food bank providers around, and that's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. Though some of those people have gone off the benefit because they have not fulfilled the obligations that the taxpayers have of them. In other words, they have not been out looking for work consecutively. These are small numbers of people, but we do have obligations. If you are supported by the taxpayer, you are expected to do a number of things. In some cases, it is looking after your children well. In some cases, it is out finding work. But the vast majority of people go off the benefit because they have gone into work. One of the most successful schemes we have been running is 3K to Christchurch. And I would have thought, 1,900 people. I remember when Minister Bennett announced it and she was targeting 1,000 people, moved, particularly young people, moving down to Christchurch where there was a huge need for construction workers. Actually, when you talk to them today, 1,900 people have accepted that challenge and moved down to Christchurch. And by far the majority now are going into the hospitality sector, are going into the um, care sector, not construction anymore, and that is to be celebrated. Did we hear celebration for those people that had moved uh, off benefit and into work from across this house? No, of course we didn't. They went out and found, and they went out and found some employer who said they only stayed for three months. So uh, there, th this, this
this government is working hard and the staff and the public service and the, and the work and income officers are working hard to support those people into independence because we know that work is the best way out of poverty, both for those people and, most importantly, for their children. And that sh every step we take should be celebrated. I call